everyone, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Claire Carmichael. I'm a newly qualified general practice nurse, all that jazz. So I just wanted to do a really brief, I'm gonna keep this brief this time guys, not 20 minutes long, very brief update vlog for you all. So this week has been really amazing. All good things at work. It looks like we're setting up our waiting rooms to allow people to come in again. So it's slowly coming back from COVID little by little. Um, we're still wearing our full PPE and everything. Wednesday I had my home visits, which a lot of you know, I love doing the home visits and I had some new scrubs, which I will show you. I'll put it here. How gorgeous are these scrubs? These are from Vivian of Holloway. They start, they made some specially for NHS workers and I had some made for me as a gift. Thank you. So my home visits went really, really well. I didn't have anything mega happen thank god um everything ran smoothly i had one patient know that was um this patient's an elderly person and they're very very lonely and they won't accept any help and they, they're a bit too proud and i just want to pick them up and bring them home so that they've got someone it's just it was really really sad it was sad to see that they were quite lonely and quite upset about it they know that they're lonely and they're constantly thinking about it so I sat with them for over an hour just chatting to them and just I didn't even barely speak I was literally there just listening to this person because they needed to speak to someone and they needed that social interaction so all in all clinics are going well everything's doing amazing I don't know when our doors are going to be opening again for patients to come and wait in the waiting room but it'll be really interesting to see that happen and that's all really about work there's no real updates as, as such other things that What's going on? We have got a brand new general practice nurse student network. General practice nurse student and nurse network. <laughs> I've gone. It's just gone. Anyway, we've got a new Instagram page. I'll put the link here um, so you can go and give it a follow. We're going to be posting out. There's a whole team of us. There's like 15 or 16 I think of us all together. I've been made vice chair. Me and Naomi have been made vice chair now of it all. So that's fancy. Um, but yes, we're doing some like in information sort of posts on the, we're doing a load of really cool things on the GPN um, Instagram page now. So I've just got to think of some long-term conditions and some little infographics and things like that to do. But yeah, there's lots of exciting things going on on Instagram at the minute. So go check it out. Give us a follow if you want to follow. If you don't, don't worry about it. Also, our Twitter page is at GPNSNN as well. If you're not following, go and give that a follow. Good things are coming, guys. Come on. <laughs> the other thing that's happened, Nix is feeling sorry for herself. You can't see her because she's hiding behind the cushion. She's not happy. Do you know why she's not happy? This is why. She's got to wear the cone of shame. <laughs> she's not happy. She's been in that corner <laughs> ever since she's got home and I finally took it off her. She's sulking. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> but yes, she has got very sore bits because she keeps licking it and it's red raw now. So they've done some little samples at the vets. It's not um, like a bacteria skin infection. So they want a urine sample now to see if it's a urine infection and then they'll test that. But fingers crossed she's all right. Yeah, she's just feeling sorry for herself. And Dylan's looking after her. He keeps checking on her, bless him. There he is, look at him. Are you looking after Nixie, Dylan? You looking after Nixie? Good boy. <laughs> and the last thing, we are doing some free online webinars, which are, are amazing. The team behind it are fantastic. There's all sorts on diabetes, hypertension, asthma, sexual health is going to be mine. A little bit of contraception thrown in. There's loads of free webinars online. So have a look below. I'm going to drop the link below. Have a look and register for those because they're incredible. And the amount of knowledge, I learn something new every time I watch these. So yeah, get involved. And they're fun as well. They're not boring webinars. They are fun and interactive as well. So get involved. And also I'm going to ask for everybody's help. Well, basically 
to keep these webinars going and to get more resources for us to make these webinars even better and more improved we need funding i know it's always about money guys don't get me started but <laughs> to keep it going and get the extra resources and everything in on it to do amazing webinars for everybody and keep it free as well. Not only that, but we want to keep these webinars free. We need to find sponsors or funding from somewhere. We're not 100% sure where from. Fingers crossed we can get some money to keep these webinars going because they are amazing. They're so informative, educational. This is, this is stuff you won't learn on at uni. This is like well above it's just amazing and it's for student nurses as well it's not just nurses it's for student nurses and qualified nurses and anyone else that wants to join in and learn about these long-term health conditions it's just amazing okay so that is it from me i hope everyone's doing okay if you're not doing okay as always my inbox is open please message me it's, it feels like we're sort of doing a little bit better these days with covid and everything thank god Hopefully we're not going to go into a second wave and lockdown again as it's slowly starting. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. But anyway, yes, I hope you're all okay. Have an amazing week and I shall see you all next week. Bye.